Hi there YouTube, how are you doing? Today we're gonna talk about jailbreaking iOS 9.3.3 and why you in fact should not do it. Jailbreaking iOS 9.3.3 is possible. Uh, you can get a Tetrad jailbreak and that will be done with a Chinese tool. There are lots of complaints at the onlocker.com chat, but I'm not advising you guys and girls out there to put an, any jailbreak on your uh, new iPhone 6, 6S, you know, your, your, your new iPhone. I mean, like the thing can get totally messed up because uh, I looked at the installer and it was, you know, abacadabra to me. I could not read it. I could not understand it. The only reason already why I would not, you know, advise you to do this is because the thing is in Chinese. Do you understand Chinese? If you understand Chinese, then you can do this. Okay. But I don't understand Chinese. You see that? And in fact, it's really uh, simple. You must... Uh, go to your safari and then just simply add this one of these addresses it's the address of pangu and many people are trying it you know so once in a while it's not available etc and then uh, give it permission and hit trust uh, uh, several times and you know just hit whatever you see that will come uh, of course a link will be in the description but you know i really don't advise you to do this would you do business with somebody that you don't understand i mean that's crazy you know um yeah it's really crazy because it can say everything and you cannot read it and you don't know what's happening on your phone the biggest problem is that people are crying and let me um let me read uh, some of these things for you. Uh, there are a lot. I'm gonna put the link in the description so you can go look it uh, at the unlocker. He's showing it in fact with pictures and in fact, um, yeah, in, uh, in his tutorial, he's not uh, talking about all the problems that you will get. He's starting uh, talk, he start to talk about these problems and issues. Um, after the in, in the command sections so he's saying to everyone having issues after jailbreaking please be patient it's a brand new jailbreak so there are bound to be some bugs that need to be worked out if it's something you really cannot live with on jailbreak again using this tutorial so you know you cannot simply restore you you have to on jailbreak again so we got to see how to do that uh, as well but we're not going to talk about that yet we will talk about that uh, in a little but the people are saying i used the jailbreak app everything went smoothly it worked and i had cydia but when uh, but then uh, it just crashes and keep crashing so i deleted it but now i need to go back and get rid of this chinese pirated pirated app store that came with it didn't notice i couldn't delete it until uh i couldn't delete it either i went through the process of the jailbreak and um, i wait i click the circle it loads uh, it locks my phone and then the notification comes up but then not, nothing happens my phone never restarts sometimes it will as soon as uh, i lock but cdia appears the guy is typing a little bit strange when i'm supposed to connect my phone to the computer it just shows the screen that somebody else where there are two phones one android and apple i don't see the p sign with pangu uh, how it was in your video uh, and then david uh, is saying make sure itunes can see your phone you have latest version of itunes and and you know that blah 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 um uh, I have to. I have tried to do this several times. Somebody else is saying from several different links, but my 6s. But it says download filled every time. Okay, that one was lucky. It did not uh, really go. 
I just jailbroke my iPhone 5s and I'm freaking out because I tried to unjailbreak it by going back to restore and when I did restore my phone uh, still had the Cydia and Pangu app was still there so they could not even get the app get rid of the app when I click on the link to download the jailbreak it says cannot connect to the website it says cannot to the okay uh, I've tried jailbreaking it mul multiple times uh, all the time it reboots but no Cydia appears so you know um doing certain actions and then not getting the expected uh, uh what you expected um is also a way to trick people by you know installing all sorts of i don't know what spyware on the on, on the phone you know and you know these days eh, they also collect phone numbers because companies are you know they, they are calling you it's really strange okay I'm not accusing Cydia of anything but I got a SIM card a brand new SIM card and nobody had that number not even me I didn't know the number so I put it in my 3GS I remember I jailbroke my 3GS and out of nothing I get the SMS if I don't want to this buy this or buy that how, how can they send me SMS if nobody has my number but I was jailbroken the thing was in a jailbroken phone so in some way these apps you know they can get to your number and uh, you might also one time get a phone a, a phone call it rings one or two times and then the people hang up and then you're looking at your phone hey who was that and you see some number and when you're calling that number you know it will cost a fee not just 20 cents or 30 cents it might cost you like some people had to pay 200 300 uh, euros you know crazy things man so be careful with what you're doing eh, with your phone it's really you know if you're doing with a phone that you're not using just you know playing and making tutorials like me you know then but your your personal phone don't play with that you know it's these days everything can happen to you here Julia is saying Syria doesn't pop up uh, then David is try again again this is a brand new deal break blah 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 okay so my computer won't let me open it it says install an inter integrity check Try the no computer method now. Um, yeah, so um, I cannot see nobody here on this page that does not have a problem. Everybody has problems, and it's also a tetrad jailbreak, meaning that um, I saw enough. I went through all the pages. I, I didn't see one person that say, hey man, that's cool, it works good, you know? So I'm warning you, my iOS friends, subscribers, brothers, sisters, wherever you are in the world, you know? Don't deal with things that you don't understand, you know? Don't deal with things that you don't understand. Because it's abacadabra, and you don't know what's gonna happen to you, all right? You can be friends with things that you don't know but you cannot do transactions that concern your your life or or your private personal uh, uh, belongings you know loss of that you cannot you know um, just install it and go ahead because the unlockers say you can do it I mean like who is the unlocker you know I mean like who am I if I would make a video just to get many views and tell you guys yeah this is how to you know jailbreak it I will put the links for you guys for those that want to jailbreak it I will put the description here so you did not come uh, for nothing uh, to you know to, to learn how to jailbreak I will not do it myself because I already told you why it's not it's not wise to do it but if you really want to do it you know in my description you know you will you will find uh, the tutorial how to do it so go read and step by step do it and yeah, of course don't come cry for me if you have lots of problems because I'm not responsible for your device if you are 
jailbreaking, routing, installing these things, you are on your own. Okay? Good. Of course, you will also lose the warranty of your iPhone. Start understanding that. So don't go cry uh, at the Apple store. Yeah, my phone, blah, blah, blah. Because you made uh, uh, appointments with uh, uh, um, people you did not understand. You could not read whatever you were doing. You know, there's a, wi a wise man said, a wise man said, you can, you can show people the way, but you cannot, uh, you, you, but, but, but that will not help them to think. You know, if you think about what, what I'm saying here, eh? you know, I can, you know, I can show you how to do all sorts of crazy things. I, I, I'm having so, so much videos here on my channel, more than 1500. I don't see so many guys here on YouTube having so much videos with so much different content like me, you know, slowly I'm growing out to, to be a world channel that will, you know, have so much different content and so much different videos where I'm teaching you guys things and showing you guys things. But still, you must think for yourself. Not everything that you see on TV is like the way that it is. Many times I'm also looking at videos on YouTube and then I, I'm like, hey, what is this guy talking? You know, that's not the way how to do it, you know, but he found a way to do it in his way and he's showing that to the people but you yourself must also think you know you should not let others think for you and then afterwards you come and then you start crying like a baby you understand so be very wise and be very nice to your iphone if you want to play look on marketplace second hand marketplace buy an older iphone go jailbreak that one but you know don't mess with your daily phone. All right? Good? Good. Now you want to know how to unjailbreak back to original. <laughs> well, I'm here at the site of this guy, David Kogen or Kogen. Kujan, whatever his name is and he is pointing to a link you know on a site that will show how to you know um, kind of restore your phone back to original to unjailbreak the device but if we take a look at that link this is what we see here you can see the message I hope you can read it He's saying to everyone having issues after jailbreaking, please be patient. It's a brand new blah, 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 blah. If it is something you really cannot live with, then unjailbreak using this tutorial. So we have a link here. All right, so we're gonna hit the link. There you go. So how to unjailbreak? How to unjailbreak? Page not found. Well, as an old school Apple user, I can try to give you an idea how to unjailbreak back to original. I think this is what you should do. Remove your pass lock, remove uh, your fingerprint thingy so the phone is completely free. Then um, turn the phone off, put the phone into a DFU mode. How to do that you um, you press the power on and then you also hold the button after a second you first press the power on and then you hold the home button as well so you're pressing the power and the home but you press the power first and then the home but you should not press the power and then let the Apple boot local come first and then press the home when you press the power you press the home immediately okay and then the Apple local will pop up and the moment you see that the Apple logo disappears, you let go of the power, but you keep holding the home button. And then the phone will stay black. It will then be in a DFU mode. If everything goes right, um, 
you must do this while being connected to iTunes. Eh? So you must have your iPhone connected to iTunes when you turned it off and then you hold the power button you turn turn power on and then you hold the home etc what i just said and then itunes should say it found a phone that need to be restored okay so you can let itunes go get this software for you it will automatically download the software for you you must be of course connected to the internet at all times you must be connected to the internet if you want to fix the phone again so you cannot go fix the phone in the middle of nowhere where you have no internet otherwise you will not be able to activate the phone okay you will not be able to get into the phone so that is important um yeah i think that's the only way how to do it and i think that before doing this jailbreak you must of course of course of course um also make a backup of everything on your phone don't go to the jailbreak with the backup on with, without doing a backup because you know you might have to do a total restore and then you will lose everything okay so i think that the dfu mode uh restoring will help you to on jailbreak this pangu thing now uh stay safe out there good luck and of course, if you like this video, if you could appreciate this message that I brought to you guys and girls, uh, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. And then I love to see you in my next video again.